Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create decorated envelopes or like embellished envelopes using my silhouette. And you can see on my screen, I already have like a filler um, address just so I can show you how to put the address on. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And for this particular design, I'm going to be using a, or project I should say, I'm gonna be using sketch pens. I'm, and a sketch design from the Silhouette Store. You can do this with a regular design if you assemble it how it should look, but for this project, I'm going to be using a sketch design. Just wanted to throw that out there first so there's no confusion. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Now, I don't need this address right now, so I'm just gonna leave it off to the side, but I do need to draw a rectangle that's going to represent my envelope, and this is just going to be a placeholder. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle, select it, and then resize it. And I already know the measurements of my envelope itself, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter it here. And once I have this placeholder for the envelope sized correctly, I'm just going to bring it as close to the edge here on the top and on the left as possible. And this is because even though there's an entire eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper shown on the mat, I'm only going to place the envelope on the actual cutting mat itself, the physical cutting mat. So that looks pretty good where it is. Next, I'm gonna open the design that I'm going to use, which is going to be a flower. And there are several sketch designs in the online store, but I'm gonna use this one for today's project. And the sketch designs, some of them come with an outline to cut and some don't. This one happened to come with that backer piece, which we don't need. So I'm going to select it, right click, and go to ungroup. And I have a thousand little rectangles on my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and delete it. And then I'm going to draw a box around all of this. Right click and group that back together because I don't want any of that shifting around. Next, I'm going to place this approximately where I think I want it to go and downsize it. So using the handle on the side, I'm gonna drag it down. And this little placeholder address is really just so I can see how far up or how far down I can go. And it's also, a font that I could use for the sketch pens and I'll show you what that looks like because it's a narrow font. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. Back to our little flower here. So this looks pretty good as is. Now some people would try to go to this modify window, but because when I ungroup this and ungrouped in a million pieces, I already have a feeling that some of these modify functions are not going to work. So I'm just going to grab this knife tool on the left hand side and I'm going to slice off the bottom and slice the side and then realign it with the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you want your cut to be straight. So if you see a number on the left hand side, that means your cut is not straight. So now I can select this and hit delete. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the right hand side. And now I can select all these little pieces and hit delete. Now, if you don't cut in the right spot, what you could do is just select your shape, make sure you select all of it, and just push it back up so it lines up with that line on the bottom that represents your envelope. For the address portion of the envelope, if I know who I'm sending something to, I'll go ahead and I'll fill in the actual address here. If I don't know who it is, I'll leave it blank and I'll just handwrite it. I actually prefer to handwrite the addresses, but I will show you a sample of what it looks like with the sketch pen drawing the address on. Now, some fonts are narrow enough to form a single line when you run them through your silhouette. And essentially, it's really not a true single line. It's just that the font is so narrow that the pen mark landed on top of each other when it went back around. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to my silhouette to write. And I'm just going to place the envelope in the top left-hand corner as you see it here without doing anything special or unique. But before I do that, I'm going to select this outside rectangle here and click delete because I actually don't need that. It's just going to draw this image here. 
So here is what the final and drawn image looks like and you can go back and add color if you want or just leave it plain. Thanks for watching.